Like, because they're stupid. Yeah. Um, and it's not even really... I mean, yeah, it's Cartoon Network's fault, but the thing was, WB was gonna, decided to cancel it because of lack of toy sales, and then Cartoon Network just didn't push them for new episodes. And that was all it was. And, yeah. almost, and the fans retaliated greatly. Well, have you seen the figures for Young Justice? They sucked. Yeah, they did. I've seen um, people do fun things with action figures on Tumblr with making them, um, positioning them into their favorite pairings, and I like looking at them, and looking at them, I'm like, why does Bart's face look like that? What is wrong with his face? What's wrong with his hair? Why is that? Seriously, I, there were a few points with those Young Justice toys where I was like, these look like the McDonald's toys from the Happy Meals. Although, the, I know, it's like, these should be what you're putting in the Happy Meals, not the skateboards. Yeah. Because, yeah, I've seen the pic, the pictures of them, and they did look somewhat, and now that I think about it, they do look McDonald's askew-esque. Yeah. Er, I just repeated the same word, but different pronunciations. I am a genius today. Um, but, uh, it, it's like, yeah, like, Guys, put an effort. So, if you want to sell the toys to keep the show going, going, make some effort. Yeah, and now that I'm hearing talks that uh, Disney looks like it's not going to cancel Gravity Falls, even though we've had so many hiatuses, because Ooh. I looked at, uh, I've managed to look at the ratings. Seriously, it's like a nuclear bomb on TV every time it's on. <laughs> uh, yeah, because the ratings are just staggering, like. This has been getting them a lot of views, so I think they'll go for a second season. If they don't, you're a fucking idiot, Disney. Because you need this. You really do need this term animation. Hub is killing you, Disney, and Car Well, actually, no, Nickelodeon's doing better now because they've got uh, a really damn good Ninja Turtles cartoon now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like... Because Nick, I think... I think I heard um, on one YouTube video that Nick is actually trying to go back to an a lot back to a lot of animation. Yeah, that's exactly so, what they're doing. Which I, which is what I've been saying for, like, a year now, like, to, like, my friends and stuff, like, they need, if they want to survive, like, they're gonna have to go back, and they are, which is great, so, cause, um, they had some really good shows, and now they're getting good shows, like, Ninja Turtles, so, which I am thoroughly enjoying. Yeah. <laughs> um, that could be another good one to cross over with Gravity Falls. Yeah, there was actually... I, I was actually helping a friend of mine write one that involved the 2012 cartoon, and he he wrote it as that uh, most of the characters get exposed to mutagen, and he called the story Beast Wars. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, so we had Dipper merge with a Peregrine Falcon. <laughs> oh, uh, gosh. We, ha oh, um, we had uh, Robbie merge with a gorilla. <laughs> and Mikey was just having a field day with the names. He's like, okay, your name's gonna be Ray Jape. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah, um, and it's actually funny, when he goes to, tries to go to Dipper's name, he goes, yeah, Dipper goes, I already got a name for myself. No, I wanna name you! <laughs> oh, God, and he go, yes. And, and, and uh, Dipper goes, call me Sky Razor. And he's like, that's dumb. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the, like, Seuss was merged with an armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, that made sense, but it's still funny to think about. Uh, Wendy was merged with a vampire bat. Very interesting. And I'm trying to think for Mabel. Mabel was, uh. Fuck, what was it? I think it was a. I think it was a frilled, like, one of those frilled lizards. <laughs> See, now all I can think about is Mabel having one of those coming, popping out of somebody, like, in, um, Jurassic Park. Yeah. And just spitting poison in somebody, in Gideon's face or something. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, can't, I love I, the images in my mind makes up. I can't remember what everyone else was made, but all I remember is that, um, uh, Robbie and his and the other friends outside of Wendy, they all went with Shredder at the end, and the rest of them, you know, the re everyone else stayed behind and, and called themselves, uh, they called themselves the Beast Warriors. Nice. Uh, Very interesting. I was, I was, I 
didn't help. I didn't help write it. I just was there for for Ninja Turtles input. I was uh, advisor, one would say. Uh, so, yeah, that was, um, there are so many reasons LVC Burrow. Again, hope I'm not butchering that name because. It, it, um, but yeah, please go check it out. Do you are going to do yourself a great favor if you're looking for great animation that hasn't you know shit out on you. Go check it out. Um, so we're gonna move on now to the next question. Finally. Probably that's what a lot of people are thinking. Finally! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, so the next question comes from Zack the Thunder King. And Zack the Thunder King asks, What monster or creature would you want to put into Gravity Falls? Um, there are a lot, but I'd like to see get around to vampires and werewolves because the fan, uh, the fan in now is that, like, okay... You, how many times have you been on fanfiction and seen, like, there are, like, 30 fanfiction of Dipper becoming a werewolf? <laughs> That's, like, the fanon oh. now. That's, like, fanon now. Because <laughs> you stick him in a wolf boy costume and we're done. No, 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 this was, like, before the wolf boy costume, but the wolf boy costume that he wore in the didn't, in Boss Mabel... Didn't make the problem any better. Yeah. It like, didn't make it any better. It only increased it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? I'd be. Would you be okay with him turning into a werewolf? I wouldn't mind watching one of the twins turn into anything. I think that would be a very interesting development. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, I'd be okay with that of, um... Of Dipper finally being... Because the thing is that he can outsmart a lot of these, of these creatures, but I'd like to see him actually go toe-to-toe with some of these monsters. And... Mm. Uh, on a physical standpoint, and also, like, have that, uh, need for control, like, I've got this monster inside me now, and I need to find a way to control it, because I can't get rid of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, I think that'd be an interesting layer to his character, actually. Uh, yeah. But, for, yeah, vampires and werewolves, that's a given. Uh, the HP Lovecraft monsters, that'll never happen, but that'd be cool. Like, uh, Cthulhu and all them. <laughs> oh, dear. Thoru, <laughs> oh god, did you just? Oh, <laughs> uh, um, I guess from um, I'm gonna. They're not really monsters, depending on what stories you read, but fairies, just because um I've always had a fascination with them, ever since I was little, and then it ended up becoming my nickname. So I have a, so that's just my biased one. Okay. Um, uh, and then, I guess, another one would be that, this is good, that, that two-headed, like, lion with a giraffe neck thing from uh, Egyptian mythology. You mean the Sphinx? No, the Sphinx is a, well, that would also be cool to say, the Sphinx is Oh, you're, just, you're talking uh, about you're talking about a chimera, right? I don't know if it's called a chimera, but I think it might be that. It's just it's got it's like a lion, but it's got two really but it's got two heads with two really long necks. Oh, I, yeah, it is from the Egyptian mythology. I just can't remember what it's called, but yeah, I yeah. actually be that's another thing. I would actually love to see them delve into like the Greek mythology or uh, the some kind of mythology, like uh, some kind of godhood. That would be really interesting to see any kind of mythology thrown in there. Admit it, you just want to see it, t uh, you just want to see it, uh, see a Percy Jackson crossover. Shh, they don't need to know that. <laughs> I'm kidding, but yes, um, I do enjoy Percy Jackson crossovers, but not only that, but I do enjoy mythology as it is, and seeing, like, a monster like that, it actually... The, the reason I want to see that monster is actually from the old Discovery Kids show, Tuttenstein. Oh, um, I love that show. It, it, wait, what'd you say? I said I love, I, I used to love that show. I know, and, uh, I mean, like, I'm, okay, I, I know as in I loved it too, because, like, I would just be like, yes, this show. And I remember one time he did have to fight that, because I think that said it after them. Yeah. And whenever I think Egyptian monsters, that's what comes to mind. So. Yeah. Um, 
this will never happen because it's too. If some people will call it too mature, but maybe the whole heaven and hell kind of aspect, that'll never happen. But mm. yeah, um, I'm not saying make it like fucking Constantine or nothing, but you know, mm. it'd be it'd be interesting to, ha- to see how that would turn about. Yeah. Um. So that's just a few creatures right there. Um. Okay, final question comes from 146 Zigzag, and he asks, is there any character you think can merit their own spin-off from this show? Huh. Um I, you know what, it, like if for a unique uh spin-off, how about Grunkle Stan in his younger years? Yeah. That would probably make like, once secrets are revealed, that would probably make a good yeah. thing to have. Maybe not, like, a continuing series, but maybe, like, a mini-series. Like, a mini series, like maybe six to twelve parts. Yeah, like, sort of like a short prequel series. Yeah, like, um, like, uh, the Star Wars Clone Wars. Before the CGI one, the 2D one. Some, mm-hmm. Something like these little mini-stories right there. Um, so something along those lines. Uh, I don't know. I, di- I am helping another g- a friend of mine write a series called the Professor Pine series, which uh, delves into what this, the, the, the stories are about. It's, um, it's Dipper now in his early in his um, early 30s, married to Wendy. They have twins of their own, uh-huh. uh, Jackson and Madeline. And it's kind of like, it's like Sherlock meets... Uh, it's like Sherlock Holmes meets uh, the Hellboy movies. Interesting. And now that you've said Sherlock, I know what live action show besides Smallville. Sherlock, okay. But getting back to that, yeah. um, that's actually a really interesting yeah. thing. That actually sounds really cool. Yeah. And it's basically him going on, like, he take like uh, he works as a college professor about uh, most of the time, but he also helps the police with uh, supernatural crimes. While also, you know, looking into more of the Pines bloodline, where there's also stuff like, um, like, uh, there was a story we wrote called, uh, I, I helped him write called, uh, called, uh, The Blood of the King, which is a whole story where they're in England, and Dipper discovers that, holy shit, we're the descendants of King Arthur. Oh. Yeah, um... Nice. Mabel, by the way, in this future is originally she was going to be a psychiatrist, but we cho- we went a more interesting route. We made her a she's a new she's a children's author, but what she does is she's been writing stories based off of her and Dipper's adventures when they were kids. Mm. So that's what she's been doing. She's been a child's author. She changed the names around because no, uh, um, but that's what she's been doing. She's been writing. She's a children's novelist now as an adult. Wendy's now a CEO of a woodcutting company. Nah. And uh, Gideon is like Moriarty. Oh, gosh. Yeah. And Dipper put him in a wheelchair for life. Aww. And he goes I, by... I... And um, Dipper goes... doesn't He doesn't go by the name Dipper. He goes by... Uh, he goes by the name uh, David. Mm. So... It, but it, Mabel usually calls him Dipper. He's like, don't call me that. No one's going to take me seriously if everyone goes, Dipper Pines. <laughs> and, oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, again, sorry, I go, on, I go on these little rants. It's okay. I do that all the time. Yeah. Literally every five minutes. <laughs> if I don't control myself. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. What, like, what characters would you like to think could get a spinoff? Um, I actually, funny enough, I had an idea once that, um, just that, uh, almost, I don't know if it would ever be a show, but it would be fun to cop, do a cosplay show as, um, just with, uh, the girls of Gravity Falls, like, Mabel and Wendy having, like, adventures. Yeah. Because I thought it would be interesting to see their dynamic, like, Pacifica would, and would probably be like, um would probably be, like, the main antagonists at times. Um, we'd get to see those two gal pals that she had in that one episode. 
like who they are, what their personalities are. Yeah. Um, we get to see Candy 